Welcome back to Marbella Now. My name is Nicole King. Hey, hey, it's a brand new day. week we have such a very special program for you. I've come to Madrid because it's FITUR, the Feria Internacional de Turismo, the International Tourism Fair. Marbella of course is going to be showing everything they have to offer but before the fair starts they've got a cocktail organized at the Trocadero restaurant to welcome all the people who are coming to promote Marbella. So join me for a great evening and information about our beautiful city Marbella. Dice sola guapa como te llamas, quieres hacer cosas en mi casa, es atrevido pero me gustas tú. What better way to start the program with our General Director of Tourism for Marbella, Laura de Arte. How lovely to be here, Laura, congratulations. Thank you, thank you very much. Well, it's a pleasure for us as well, and we are very happy to, to be here tonight, and we are really expecting that the party start and the presentation of Marbella and all the new image, the logo, and all the... And, and the future, no, the, the 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 best the best exhibition we have in Spain and mainly in, in most of Europe, and it's starting tomorrow, and we are really expecting to to start. The people who are coming this evening are these people who have come to Madrid to help promote Marbella and all the wonderful things we have to offer. Well, in, really, it's a, in fact, it is a, a mix of, of of companies, a mix of. of uh, representative of not only not only from Marbella as well and um, hotels of hotels golf courses restaurants and, and some of the companies that you usually work with them but also with the companies that we used to to work all year round so uh, all our the people that we make that Marbella happened uh, are going to be tonight very exciting and what can we expect from tonight's party well I think that the best, the best, First thing is that the, the, introduction, the introduction that the, the mayor is going to do is going to to present not only the new video that you know that each feature we have a new video, uh, but I think that is also the the new logo says a lot about Marbella. It's Marbella's sense of excellence. So we are promoting the excellence, and I think that after the the Corona, we are working very very hard in excellence in having. Uh, much, much more, more uh, uh, a client, a different client with a high position. I mean, with a high yeah, with profile, good level. Yes, with a profile. profile of, of, and you know that uh, Maria has increased a lot in this kind of uh, service, uh, uh, excellence, services, exclusivity, and this is what we are going to promote tonight. Well, congratulations! Thank you. Thank you very much. Really looking forward to seeing that new promotional video. That's right, it's really nice. So I invite everybody to, to, to join us and, and see the, the new video and the new uh, logo we are promoting tonight. Very exciting. Woo. Thank you. <laughs> so happy we're here. <laughs>
nací en Marbella Tu gente en tu calle sin tu luz Es en si andaluza y malagueña Pasaje pintado en azul Así eres tú, así en Marbella everybody nobody drives drinking everybody who drives a car doesn't have any alcohol in their system and we're proud to sponsor the zero hero program you've been out of shape and you feel like you've missed it you dropped out the my first time coming to the Marbella festivities to celebrate their presence at FITU, the International Tourism Fair. But our lovely Roberto of RTV Marbella comes every year and I'm delighted to chat with you. So nice to be here, English side and the very established Roberto. I'm so glad to see you here. Welcome to Marbella party. This is the previous feature party and every year uh, we change uh, the place to to enjoy, to say hello to everybody, to say welcome to the... Because it, the fair is uh, not so funny, but the fair is uh, so many work, uh, long day working, and this is the party, this is our, our rest. <laughs> and I think some very emblematic people are expected this evening. Yes, it's a kind of uh, network here, because uh, many people from Marbella come to uh, Madrid, to enjoy, to see what's happening here with the tourism, with the expectative for the next year. And many people come here to meet with uh, hotel directors, uh, people from enterprises, and it's a good ambient. When you come here, what do you like to do in Madrid apart from this? What do you try and get in in Madrid that you don't want to miss? Every year, it's, this is a secret, uh, every year when we come to uh, Fitur with uh, uh, 
people from the press, uh, two or, or three, we go to have dinner. One night we enjoy, we look for a good place and we enjoy. On, uh, we are tired, but we, we try to, to enjoy it at least one night. That's very, very yeah. good. Good boy, <laughs> you're a good boy. And tonight are you going to be presenting here? Yes, uh, I'm going to introduce to the uh, Angeles Muñoz and the the video, um, something short because uh, today the important thing is enjoy, uh, to talk with everybody and, and enjoy. And have fun. Yeah. Well, this is our lovely Roberto, <laughs> and I'm so glad you're the MC, and I'm so happy to see you here. So happy Delighted to, see you. to be here. It's very exciting. <laughs> I'm delighted to introduce to you now Laura Aranth and she is the Madrid reporter for Good Morning Spain. Good evening, Laura. Good evening, Nicole. It's a pleasure to be here with you. It's lovely to have you at this very emblematic party for Marbella. You're a big fan of Marbella yourself. You go often. Yes, of course. I've always loved to be in Marbella. I have many friends in Marbella. Also, my sister lives very close to Marbella, so for me, it's a lovely city that I love to go and I love to spend time there. But although you love Marbella and being on the Costa del Sol, Madrid is your home. Can you tell us what makes it so special for you? Well, Madrid is a city very specialist in continuous development and it's very, very, very alive. So I really love it. It's because, of course, it's my city. I was born here. And also because there are very hidden places I would love to show you in next programs, like Good Morning Spain. Very exciting. But you also have a very exciting life because you work with Jimmy Shoe and other emblematic companies with a very special product that you produce. Tell us a bit about that. Yes, actually I'm a journalist. I've been working in television and TV reports since I was pretty young. And right now I have a company also about innovation and I do like windows and I do like um, replicas in 3D printing for Jimmy Choo, that's true. So I work a lot also with UK and we have a very special connection about fashion. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing you more on Good Morning Spain and congratulations and well done with all your projects. Thank you very much, Nicole. It will be a pleasure to be with you more and to see you more often. I'm so happy. Me too. Woo! Me and the girls were here to invade Shaking my ass but it's not for your sake How many times can I say no before you go away? Cause you ain't getting none of this Stop begging me to stay Pati, pati No hay nada pati, pati, pati So keep your hands up off me Pati, pati No hay nada pati, pati Ti, 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 ti I'm here with our mayoress, Angeles Munoz. Congratulations. What a marvelous party. Yeah, you know, it, today normally is the day before that uh, FITU, that is the most important uh, fair for the tourist sector, started. So Marbella is always uh, have that meeting with uh, in business uh, for uh, tourist people from Madrid, media people, for to show how is the strong 
brand that we have with Marbella. When I moved back to Marbella about 12 years ago, you were really making an effort to make Marbella an all year round city. And you've achieved that. I'm so proud of you and I'm so grateful. What are the things that you've got lined up that really are making Marbella so special for the future? You know, the people that have the, the luck to live in Marbella, we are so lucky to live in Marbella that we understand why the people that visit us decide to come to Marbella more often or even living in Marbella or most important to say, okay, I'm going to have the business, my business in Marbella. So in that moment, Marbella has been closed, the 23, the year 23, with the best uh, uh, number than ever for employed, that that is very good because that means that Marbella is a destination 12 months a year. And that way, it's like you say, that is our goal. You know, that is, uh, uh, we are working for that. And we hope that that 24 is going to be even better than 23. It's a major achievement and we're so grateful because a lot of us work there. We need all year round business. So wonderful, well done. We thought maybe Brexit would be a problem, but it just looks like people are spending more money and a better class of tourists and residents. I think that uh, all that English people that love Marbella, always like Marbella, they have to come in. Don't, don't think in that uh, that has been some problem. You know, the destination, the place, the, the home is Marbella for all that English people. So I hope that they're feeling like always and, uh, you know, feeling really, really happy. Congratulations. Thank you for being our mayoress, the lovely Ankeles Munoz. Thank you very much. Thank you. that this gentleman is the owner of La Fonda restaurant. One of the owners, one of the owners. One of the owners, so modest. His name is Agent Gill, but how lovely for you to be here well, supporting be Marbella. Here. Yes, Marbella is uh, the best place on earth. How long have you lived there? About 37 years. 77 years? 37 I was going to say, you're not old enough to be 77 no. years. No, definitely not. Definitely on not. On and off. We we're building hotels in other places, but Marbella is in my heart and always will be. So Marbella is home? Marbella is home. Always will be home. And what can we expect at La Fonda for those who don't know? Well, La Fonda is it's, uh, very difficult to explain in two words. I should be here about a month to tell you that La Fonda is, uh, was an incredible hotel and restaurant and is going now with this uh, incredible hotel and restaurant. We're full and uh, it's absolutely beautiful. We didn't do very much publicity yet, but I hope that uh, it will uh, regain the uh, glam glamour of the 60s, 70s, 80s, and um, I Why mean, not? Why not? oh, it will, for sure. And, you know, the uh, old town of Marbella is uh, gaining a lot of uh, publicity, a lot of people, they want to live in the old town, you know, where before, a lot of people would love to live on the beach, then on the hill and go to the beach. Now they, the old town offers a lot and you could be everywhere walking distance. So it's really beautiful. It is very beautiful and I'm delighted to meet you. It's an absolute honor. Well, pardon me? It's an absolute honor to meet you. Well, it's an honor to be here. And uh, well, this is, this is a piece of Marbella right in the center of Madrid. The nice thing is, is that all of us together make Marbella better. Hashtag together. Thank you, Adrian. Thank you very much. Have a great evening. You too. Bye.
is full of emblematic people from Marbella, but none like the owner of the Via Padierna Hotel, Mr. Aranth. What an honor to meet you here. How nice of you to leave Marbella, to come to Madrid to support Marbella. Maravilloso que vienes aquí a Madrid para apoyar a Marbella. No, es una responsabilidad que tenemos todos los que vivimos y disfrutamos de un destino como Marbella. Venir a Madrid y ir por todo el mundo para promocionarlo y, y bueno, no hace falta promocionarlo porque al revés, se está llenando demasiado de gente. He said you really don't need to promote Marbella anymore because so many people are coming. Tenés invitados emblematiquísimos en el hotel. You have some really emblematic guests at the hotel. Tenés oportunidad de conocerlos when they come. Do you meet the famous people that come, like the Obamas? Sí, hemos tenido invitados muy importantes que nos han dado mucho prestigio, pero sobre todo ha dado mucho prestigio también a la ciudad. Saying that the emblematic guests that come to the hotel only give more um, uh, prestige to Marbella. The hotel is one of the most beautiful that we have. El hotel es sin duda uno de los más bonitos que tenemos. Very opulent, very elegant, muy opulento, muy elegante. Did you have that vision? Tenías esa visión desde el principio? No, es un, fue una historia muy sencilla de hacer un destino para poder hacer un negocio, vamos, un negocio, un, un, un trabajo inmobiliario. Hemos, hicimos el hotel, los tres campos de golf y gracias a Dios ha sido todo un éxito. Saying that it all started with real estate but turned into, as I said, truly one of the most prestigious and emblematic hotels on the Costa del Sol. Thank you so much for sharing your time. Gracias por compartir su tiempo. Muchas gracias a vosotros. Y vamos a trabajar y a, y a divertirnos en un día como hoy. Networking y fiesta. Venga. Buena combinación. Venga, adiós. Came. I'm bumping into some really cool people I haven't seen for a long time. For example, Seta De, that I know through Hilma, but today she's here with Santiago as Vice President and President of the Association Against Cancer. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you enjoying the party? It's fine. I mean, I think everything is uh, absolutely immaculate. It's a good opportunity for us to basically do some kind of a way of bringing people into the Spanish Association Against Cancer. So that's what we're doing here today. We have to say thank you to the Marbella Town Hall. Uh, we are here because of them. They have invited us because we made such a good job with Maria Rosa. Uh, we usually do that in November. Yeah. And uh, so we are here today to present uh, the Maria Rosa for this year. Uh, but we will present that on Thursday, yeah? That's it, that's it. At 11.15, in the Junta Andalusia stand, we will be there. And the, just for those that doesn't know what is the Maria Rosa, it's actually a race. It's a not a professional race. It's just more a walk than a race. And uh, we brought last year circa 3,000 participants. So we're quite happy and quite proud of that because obviously we give kind of a view of the uh, fight against breast cancer, which is quite important for us. And that's the Maria Rosa pink, so that's why I, I always, when I can, join in because it's very much fun to be together with other like-minded people for a good cause. That's it, that's it. Exactly. So hopefully with this interview we can catch more people so they can join us this year for the Maria Rosa. Wonderful. It's a fabulous incentive. We all dress in pink and go walking to raise funds and awareness. How else can we help the association? Well, actually, we do various events all over the year. We also have our gala dinner in August, which is, I believe, the oldest one in all of Spain to fight against cancer. And uh, we are bringing every year around 500 uh, uh, people for dinner. And we manage to bring uh, not only uh, people as some kind of uh, actors and actresses and people who really bring us that kind of 
action that we're looking for. We're looking for two kinds of actions. One is obviously to make sure that people do have the knowledge to know what we are fighting for. And secondly, to make sure that we bring some money into the equation, some money into the pot, because it's needed to deal with the treatment. So basically, the uh, Gala dinner, the uh, obviously the Maria Rosa, the, the Pinker race, you want to call it that way. And thirdly, we also have a spring party, eh, which is always a kind of a small thing, uh, with not the same kind of age for the people who comes with us for the gala dinner, but we also give us the opportunity to get in touch with people who has these kind of problems. So any, any potential help is always welcome. Thank you very much. Congratulations on everything you do. And you better go off and carry on networking. Go Good. raise money, guys. Go Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Zero Hero, welcome to Valmari. Hey, hey, it's a brand new... Zero Hero, welcome to the sister restaurant. Hey, hey. Dice sola guapa como te llamas, quieres hacer cosas en mi casa, es atrevido pero me gustas tú. The Goyas are like the Oscars here in Spain, and this young gentleman, Alan, is actually hosting the Goyas in his theatre in Valladolid. Alan, enhorabuena, congratulations for this great hosting of the Goyas. Muchísimas gracias. La verdad que es un honor para la ciudad y para nosotros poder contar ahí con la organización de, de estos premios. Que nosotros ponemos un granito de arena simplemente y tal, porque proyectamos las películas nominadas pero formamos parte un poco de la esencia y del glamour que forman los Goya, ¿no? Es una gran atracción para todo el mundo. Es like honor that the Goyas this year are in Valladolid and also that it's his theater that's been chosen to show the films that are nominated for the awards and obviously it's a great plus for the city. Enhorabuena y nada, nos vemos después de los Goya. Ahí os esperamos, Valladolid es una ciudad fantástica para comer, disfrutar, buen vino, buena comida, buenas tapas y mucha cultura. Y chicos guapos, so Valladolid is a great place to have fun, to eat, to do all kinds of things and of course to go to the theatre. see so many locals from Marbella here in Madrid and here we have the lovely Lucia Abla de Romero and she is World Wellness Weekend representative for Spain having brought the most amount of people doing wellness activities throughout the whole world in Marbella you are really a superstar Lucia Ay, que mi inglés es muy pequeño. No te preocupes, muy hablamos en español y te español. traduzco. Muchas gracias. Estoy muchas gracias. diciendo lo maravilloso que eres haciendo que Marbella tenga los máximos eventos a nivel mundial en Marbella del World Wellness Weekend. Es un logro enorme. La verdad que sí, que ya llevamos dos años consecutivos siendo los campeones del mundo y Marbella este año se ha situado con más de 1.700 actividades en un solo fin de semana. Wow, over 1,700 wellness activities in just one weekend, promoting wellness and all the things that we can do that are fun but to keep us in shape. ¿Qué tipo de actividades, Lucía? What type of things? Pues hemos tenido yoga de la risa, tai chi, pilates, masajes, 
eh, flamenco, cinco ritmos, eh, pole dance, hemos tenido infinidad de charlas, la verdad que el wellness es muy necesario en nuestra vida, es igual bueno el weekend está ahí, para que lo conozcas, para que te diviertas y para que compartas. ¿Qué fecha? Tenemos 20, 21 y 22 de septiembre, ya anotado en el calendario. 20th, 21st and 22nd of September, we have the World Wellness Weekend, covering activities, free massages, yoga, laughter therapy, laughter yoga, all kinds of activities, including flamenco, salsa, and lots of interesting talks. So put it in your diary and make sure that you're there and that we all support the lovely Lucia. Pues. Tengo que contar un pequeño secreto que estamos tramando también con un gran evento que va a ser el Festival de Yoga en Puerto Banús el último fin de semana de abril. Para ir abriendo boca hacia el World Wellness Weekend, en abril tenemos una parada técnica para presentar un gran evento de yoga donde yo voy a estar haciendo unos talleres de masajes espectaculares para relajarme. Wow, Lucía va a estar haciendo masajes en un otro gran evento. El último weekend de abril en Puerto Venus va a ser un yoga bonanza organizado con esta hermosa mujer. La verdad que va a ser un evento internacional en el cual vamos a tener muchos turistas, eh, gente de todas partes del mundo y va a ser muy interesante. Ya lo hicimos el año pasado y esta vez venimos con más fuerza. Así que no dudéis en venir. Muchas gracias. So cool. You get strength together. Hashtag better together. Joining forces because they're like-minded people and supporting each other's events. The well, um, event of the yoga event in Puerto Venus at the end of April is going to bring in a lot of famous names and a great opportunity to meet cool people. Enhorabuena, chicas. We'll see you there. Ahí estaremos. Una promesa, no amenaza. I'm saying we'll be there, but it's a promise, not a threat. Well, that's it for this week. As you can see, it's been an amazing party. There's still party left to party. But I'm going to leave you. Thank you so much for joining me. And please do watch our programs. You can watch recordings from the RTV Marbella website. Or you can go to my website, NicoleKing.es. Take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other and see you again next week back in Marbella. Bye for now. Besitos. Dice solo agua pa' como te llamas Quieres hacer cosas en mi casa Es atrevido pero me gustas tú uh, Es que no me voy a casa contigo Déjame sola que es tu motivo Quiero escuchar la música uh, uh, uh. Pa' ti, pa' ti No hay nada pa' ti, pa' ti, pa' ti So keep your hands up on me Pa' ti, pa' ti
Tocar 